Uh, hi. Hi guys, so sorry about the mix up. So sorry about the mix up. So apparently there's something going on, on Facebook and I'm just realizing because I see a lot of people in my inbox saying stuff. So. When I know tell me saying I saw big matter be there for Facebook. I'm just saying it. How I how I leave me in the dark, so I'm just sitting here, some person there for my inbox. They send me all kinds of threats. Man, I fear I fear who now. I fear the industry. If man no fear, I don't know who man go fear. Honestly, so someone is in my inbox sending me threads. I'm just um, gonna hold on. Maria's about to get to join this live session, so she'll be here in a bit. Okay. Um, thank you guys. First of all, thank you guys so much for joining this live show. Um, 
I'm trying to reconnect to the Facebook link because that's where I can see your comments and um, posts and uh, messages so I can be able to, you know, relate them to Mary. I'm going to signal her to join us in a bit. Okay, guys. Um, Kylie, Kylie. Um, oh man, they've been sending me messages. So apparently, the whole um, the whole giveaway thing, where I talked about that yesterday, is it's all over. You know, people then they send me messages from my inbox. But hey, guess what? That's not what's important right now. Kali, we're just going to go ahead with what's important. After we don't bring Mary, today is Mary's day. So all of those other things don't matter. All right. So I'm going to have Mary Asaba join us in a bit. You guys, please share the live. You guys, please share. Kylie, um, oh man, they've been sending me messages. So apparently, please let's get to 200 so I can bring, um, I can bring our artists you guys online. Share. Kylie, um, oh man, they've been sending me messages. So apparently, Please let's get to 200 so I can bring um I can bring our artists online. Kelly, um Oh man, they've been sending me messages. So apparently Please let's get to Thank 200 you. so I can bring um I can bring our artists online. Kelly, um Oh man, they've been sending me Okay, so I'm going to follow up with questions. All right, I'm going to follow. Um, yeah, sorry. My receiver actually has issues because I was trying to follow up. I'm just going to put this right here so that I can. Okay, can you guys hear me now? It should be just, it should, we should not have, we should not have um, um, the double voices. I wanted to set it up so I can see your, your questions and um, messages. Is the echo gone now? Is it much better now? Okay, great. I'm going to bring the artist online. Thank you guys so much. All right, thank you guys so much. Okay, so Maria Saba is going to join us in a minute.
to have you. I'm so I'm so I'm so grateful that you're here. I'm so sorry for the delay. I, I'm always having issues. I'm not tech savvy, so I'm always having issues. Somebody says, welcome your vocal highness. That's Vicky. Vicky, my friend that is always disturbing me. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. Thank you so I'm much. I'm sorry. I, I can't see your comments because we are using Zoom. I don't know how to connect this thing to. Give me, can I use your phone? Yes, you can actually use another phone and then be live on the other side. You guys share. She's so beautiful. I know. I know. All right, you guys share, please. Hi, Marinette. Okay, for the people that are on Instagram, um, they were complaining about not being able to, or they are not on Facebook. Um, I thought I was going to be able to stream on Facebook and on Instagram at the same time, but unfortunately, it's not going to happen. I can only stream on Facebook once, so I'm going to post it on YouTube so that you guys can watch the, for the people that don't have Facebook, so they can watch later. Um, so Mary, oh my God, so nice to see you. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually so excited. I don't know if the people in the comment section are excited as, as I am. I'm sure they are. They're okay, coming. So, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You guys share the live. Please, please nice. keep sharing. Please sharing so that uh, keep sharing so that we can have more people online. Maria Saba is here today. Um, it was a short notice. I remember I wanted to bring her last week, but the time was really short. I said, okay, no problem. We're just going to go ahead and then, um, you know, uh, do it this week. So I'm so, so grateful that we're able to make it happen. People. Okay. You want to say something? I want to say hello to some few people. All right, go ahead. I want to say hello to Marga Bintu, um, any, any, Angelis. All right. Joker Claudia Danvila, tight eyes. Wow, tight eyes. <laughs> What's the name? I swear. Vicky Moma KS. I'm sure that's your Vicky. Yes, that's my Vicky. John Toke and uh, Tina Pelgos. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you for being here. And oh, thank you for I got been to say you should call her name. Who is that? Ma Marga Bintu. Uh, it's, the, it's the last comment that you see right now. She said, call my name. Yeah. Marga Bintu. Hello. <laughs> Mini Mariana. Hello. Comfort Mungu. Hello. Hello to everyone. Of course, we cannot go ahead to, to say hello life. to everybody because we're definitely going to sleep on this live show. So, Mary, uh, first of all, I want to say something uh, about um, you before I go on you and your whole team. Um, yeah. yeah, dance. I, I mean, regularly you just contact somebody and say, Oh, I want to talk to you. I want to have him on, on my show. I want to have him on my show. And I think Mary is one of the most professional that I've met. She was like, yeah, mama, I know that this is supposed to be an interview. I love you very much, but I would like you to go through my PR. That's how it's supposed to be. I beg, when I send me for a PR then. And the PR is top notch, <laughs> very professional very organized, well-structured and everything. He said, okay, this is what we're going to do. Um, this is what we would not want to happen. Um, ca can you send us the questions? I said, look, I'm open to you guys. Just send me your questions. Shoot me with your questions. And whatever it is, if I have to add anything, I'm going to add. He came up with questions real quick. And then I was, even the, I was even the one lagging behind. Like I didn't, you know, I was just wasting time to come up with the posters because I have a lot that is going on, which I'm so, definitely I'm not supposed to be saying I have a lot going on. But he was so professional, and I had to say, "Oh, this is really nice," and I'm I'm so I'm so happy with what you people are doing. I'm thinking I think that this is what some of the celebrities are supposed to to um, to do. You know, have a PR that has to communicate to the outside world. I only got to talk to Mary today, this morning, a couple of minutes before this show. Um, started. So, Mary, thank you very much. I want to appreciate your PR team, first of all. Mm -hmm. They're doing an amazing job. I want you to, I want you guys to keep it like this. Thank you're you. Starting, thank you. And you're, you're starting on a very good foot, so it has to be like this. So, are you ready for our questions? We have a lot of questions. Yeah, people also have questions for you. So, all right, let's go. We go on? Yes. All right, tell um, us about Mary Asaba, who you are, background, everything we want to know. 
Okay, my name is Mary Asombang Asaba, and yes, Asaba is my real name, because I get a lot of people asking me, is Asaba, is Asaba your real name? Yes, Asaba is my real name. I was born in the Southwest region of Cameroon, precisely in Moya. You all know Moya, yeah, Moya Market. Yes. That's where I was born. I, um, I went to government practicing school Moya, and then later on went to GBHS Moya, left in from three, went to Bilingual Grammar School, Moliko, that's the same level Moliko. I went to the same level Moliko too. Yes. <laughs> that's why I had my ordinary level, um, lower seat, up seat. I passed the first time, but my points were low, so I decided to go to Somerset Bilingual School, where I wrote again, and yeah, I had my points this time. And then from there, I went to Somerset, uh, to um, Biaka University Institute where I studied state um, registered nursing. And yes, I am a professional state registered nurse. Oh. And. She <laughs> wow. OK, so I mean, I didn't know that you are a professional nurse or state registered nurse. You guys, I don't know if the people in the comment section knew about this. Are you guys privy to this fact? Uh, I, I'm sure they do. I, I, after my studies, I went to um, uh, uh, central, the central hospital in Yaoundé where I did my professional stash. Okay. And then I worked in um, Nas National Offshore Institute of, um, yeah, it's an offshore safety training institute where I worked as a safety personnel and uh, um, the admin at the same time. So I had double positions. It was so challenging. I can imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine. And of course, I can't forget that I'm mother of one, a beautiful daughter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're going to come to that. We're going to come to her. Okay. So um, moving on, can you tell us um, how long have you been in, in into music and what actually inspires you? Yeah, everybody will come up and say they've been singing since they were a child. Yes, I've been singing since I was a child. I remember I used to be um, the best in our school competitions in uh, Moya. I mean, I used to have a lot of accolades. And um, a lot of people who may be under this life, who schooled in the city of Moliko, will also testify that I... <laughs> I was just everywhere when it came to music, when it came to um, anything entertainment. I was just everywhere. I wanted to be a journalist. I wanted to be uh, an, an artist. I wanted. I just wanted to be everything at the same time. So music, ha music has been my thing like forever, forever. So it's not something that started today because most times, I mean, I understand that a lot of people, especially people in mu into music always say that, oh, I started singing as a child, but yeah. when you look back for real, for real, you understand that, okay, maybe they probably started singing just a couple of years back or stuff like that. So from my understanding, it's been something that you've had it for a very long time. Somebody says in the comment section, oh, our baby Joy. <laughs> so Joy is already a superstar on her own. That's why I said we're definitely gonna come to Joy. All right, Mary, moving on, how has the journey been for you thus far? Entirely, it has been very, very challenging. But um, since I decided to get into music professionally, I think it has been overwhelming. The love has been so, um, I really don't know how to express how happy I am. I am actually, I feel like I am blessed. I feel like there is a special grace on my head. The reception I got from Cameroonians and from, and from fans and from fans, it's super amazing. It's like everybody was just waiting for me to take the decision and, you know, and start something. And then it's just been like that. It's been happening so fast. And um, I think so far, so good. I can only say thank you all so much. All right, so I'm just going to come in here, right? You guys keep on sharing. Thank you guys so much for the people that are online and the people that are sharing. Okay, you see, you, you mentioned the fact that it's like everybody was waiting. I feel that same way. I feel like everybody was waiting for Mary to come on the scene, you know, and take the stage and just take, you know, take it over. Because when, um, 
um i heard i mean i heard a long time ago that you have, you're coming up with a single and and something like that so you, they say you were joining the music industry i'm like okay okay i remember i think i tweeted about oh i posted about it one time and then when the music came i heard from vicky the first time she came to pick me up so we could go I, it was around my birthday it was in december so we're going out to the mall and i'm like wait who played this song is it daphne or you know she said no it's mary i said i'm like what we played that song from my house to the mall that was yele i mean you came you came out very strong I, it got to a point that i was worried about how your second single was going to be because it had to be as big as yele you know when you step out people you've already set a standard you don't have to go down until you're already comfortable. So I'm so excited that you, um, um, Big Dreams is as is is better. What am I saying? I did not want to say it's as big as. It's actually better than Yele, you know. Um, um, quick question, like it's just a follow-up question. Why now? Why did you wait? Honestly, I am as angry as you for beginning now, but I think it's it, it, it was just time. It was just the perfect time. It was just God's time. I, I cannot give you an answer. I wouldn't tell you I did this or I didn't do this because I was doing this. No, um, I think this is because this is the perfect time. It's That's just right. the time I all want to do it. Yeah. So tell us, do you write your own songs? Do people write for you? Yes, to the brain. <laughs> I write my own songs. I 100% write my own songs. Oui. Yes, I get contributions, you know. When you're in the studio, you are in this creative atmosphere. I mean, that's an atmosphere where everybody around you is is creating something. In fact, you guys are creating something. Somebody can give me an idea that, I'm, oh, yes, you can just tie to a line that I was trying to put together. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, I bring in everything music that you've seen outside. That's hey. all. Hey. You, that means Yele and Big Dreams, you wrote it by yourself. You are a superstar. What's from my heart. <laughs> I swear, I can't, even, I can't even write one sentence. They start to write a song. What? That's, that's talent. I'm so yeah. happy for you. I see the way you're so fine. I mean, the conversation is, the conversation is, 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 I mean, wow, you're so talented. I love your songs. Kudos, Star. Your songs are really good. I mean, everybody is so excited. I think that, um, you know, there's some people that, it's very easy for you to like them. And I think that you're one of those people. See the way um, your, your interview is flowing, you're free spirited and you know exactly how to communicate. There's a way you'll be communicating and it doesn't flow. People don't get it, but I'm actually so glued to this interview because you know how to communicate the whole body language thing. You're carrying everybody along. Somebody says she's really a superstar. Of course she is. Thank you guys so much for your comments. Okay, um, tell us about your most recent um, project. That's, that should be uh, Big Dreams. Yeah, so Big Dreams, after all, after all my struggle, after all um, what I've gone through in the past years and um, being in the position, I wrote that song just two months before we released, two months, no, a month before we released it. Wow. Um, that's after after I released um, the yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I And um, after Yele, I saw the reception, I saw the love. It really inspired me more. I sat in my room and I was like, I want to do bigger. I want to be bigger. I want to go to a bigger place. I want to reach a higher place. I just want to rise. I don't want to fall from this position where I am right now. And the words just kept going. And then I call my producer, I was like, yo, Vega, <laughs> please. Um, I had a, this idea of um, a kind of beat that I wanted to um, sample. So I sent it to Tom. Shockingly enough, the beat is from a gospel song. That's my background. My background is gospel. Okay. So shockingly, yes. Um, the, there's this gospel song I listened and I loved so much. So I sent Vega the beat. I'm like, please, listen to this beat. I, I don't just want Big Dreams to be a song. I want it to be a song that people can relate to. And when people listen, it's, you know, it's spirit filled. I want every word of this song to bless somebody out there. And I'm just so happy that's exactly what's happening. I get tons and tons of messages every single day of people telling me that big dreams is their morning inspiration. Like when they wake up in the morning, all they want to do is big dreams and, right. you know, just build something for inspirational. themselves. Inspirational. 
Yeah. Exactly. It gives you the motivation. It gives you the flair to want to, you know, carry on with your day. So I, I totally understand. Somebody says, um, I just finished for listening to you live for God knows how many times today. Um, God is going to leave her dreams because she got all it takes. Big dreams is so inspirational. So that's just um, people in the comment section, you know, showing the appreciation and um, all of that. Okay. We, 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 shout out to Fonde Gen C. She's an, uh, she's an international model and she's an amazing soul. She's also a big fan of me. And I can attest to that. To have an amazing I love you, boo. <laughs> All right, for Jen I hope you you are in, in the comment section or you're you're watching this live show today. Okay, Mary, moving on. So we read about your sign to Starfish uh, Starfish Entertainment and lighten yeah. us about your relationship with the label and how it has impacted your career. Who who has the label? Well, um, back um, when I was working with this offshore company in Gimbe. Um, I think this is also one of the most traumatizing times <laughs> when one of the most stressful times of my life because I had a really bad work program. Like I, I left the house at seven and came back at seven, eight sometimes. I was practically not with my daughter because I had to keep her with my mom and work. And um, I was going through so much, so, so much. So, um, in this time, I just got more and more inspired. I remember coming one time to Duala to do backup for Mayochi. If you all know Mayochi, she's a, an upcoming artist and she's so beautiful. So I came one time to do backup for Mayochi and uh, I met this producer, Rapnem. Rapnem is an amazing producer. He's the one who did um, Benjutina's um, Jai. He's responsible for yeah. okay. He's really good. So. Um, he was like, yo, Mary, I've been so longing to meet you. He was so happy. He was so excited. He was like, please come, let's go and do something. Let's do a song. And we went to his place. I did a song, and he loved it. He was, he was madly in love with the song. So he told me, Mary, I have, I have a boss whose elder brother is looking for an artist to sign. So I'm going to link you up to you guys and chat. I'm like, I don't think this is a good time for me. I don't think this is the time when I can make any decision. That's what right. I'm doing. Yeah, I was just so stereotyped about everything. I wasn't sure that I was going to, you know, commit into full-time music, like being music. a full-time artist. So I was like, okay, just give him. And, and, and many a times people have come to me and they're like, yo, I want to work with you. And when they see my vision, they see what how big my vision is. They see how how I want, you want to, to, to go. I want to get into music. Most of them run. I, I'm like, yo, I don't want to get into this thing. Like, it's just my first time. I want to do it and I want to do it. So I give you a plan. I give you my plan and I give you where I want to be in this time. And if, if you're up for it, good. So when he told me he was going to leave me up with this uh, amazing man, I was like, okay, let's just try. Let's see. Let's see if he doesn't run. I know. Oh, Especially your dreams not frighten him. <laughs> oh, let's see if Joy don't come, you're not in there. <laughs> Joy, Joy's about to join the live show. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, let's see if he's going to stay. So when I gave him my number, he took like four days to get to me, but he finally did. Okay. And, and he was like, I listened to your songs. They are beautiful. You are really talented. And I want to make the world know you. I want to make the world see you. Those were his very first words to me and in my heart. I just believe that this is someone who would do anything or stop at anything to get me to where I want to I want to be or where, or where I want to go. He was with his wife and Starfish. The wife's name is Starfish. So that's the name. That's a real name? Yes, they are all Cameroonian. Linda based. <laughs> they were born and bred. Starfish. All of them. Yes. <laughs> that's, so, that's a strange name. Yeah, so um, a nice one. we got to talk and he, he, he was asking me my plans, like where I want to be, what I want to do and all that. And yeah, we got talking and he said, you know what, I think, right. I think you're ready. Stop saying you're not ready. I think you're ready. Let's do this. And we officially signed in August. That's August um, 8th. Yeah. Last year? <laughs> yes, last year, 2020. August 8th, and uh, 
I moved to Douala because then I was staying in India because of work. So um, luckily enough, the very day I stopped work is the very day that he came to Cameroon himself. He was like, I want to come and see you before we start working. Right. So um, he came to me, he told, I loved him as a person. I love the fact that he was so, he was, he was, he was a visionary, like he knew where he wanted exactly. to get to. Yeah, and vision because that's one thing. Yes, and just like that, that's so. Right now, I don't feel like I am. I am working with a legal. I feel like I'm working with a family, with a father, because he he just more than you know. He just more than someone who wants to be. That's so impressive. Um, yeah. is is something that I mean you telling us that you don't feel like you're working with the record label, you feel like you're working with family. I think it's something that is super important for yeah. an artist. You know, if you don't have that kind of relationship with your record label, there will definitely be tension. Sometimes I understand that tension will always, always, yeah. always be. And you feel like I'm a very emotional person. <laughs> Sometimes oh, wow. I just say like, when I'm up to something, I just call it, but no. Oh, like, wow. All very, right, well, that's a good thing. Comment section people will kill me. Somebody say but some people are not learn English. Wow, yeah, yes. wow. Wow. Die. Now yes, yes. people for, for shock. I swear to God. Okay, so tell us what plans do you have for your career moving on? We already have Yele, we have um, big dreams, and then we know that your background is gospel. So are we gonna be hearing something gospel from you anytime soon or you're gonna stay? Yeah, at some point I'm going to praise the Lord because he gave me this talent. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he well, I mean pastor some more time. Some of you must have seen Master Jesus, but that's a topic for another day. So yes, I'm not going to, I'm going to praise Jesus for giving me this talent, you know, but it's not going to be a transition, it's just going to be um me at one point acknowledging the person that gave me this talent that made me, you know, marry a Saba. But then I definitely don't just want to be a Cameroonian artist. I want to be an international artist. That's so I'm working super, super, super hard when it comes to writing songs, you know, perfecting my art. I'm working so hard towards that. And I just hope that whatever I will put out there, whatever I will give you guys out, you guys are going to receive it. Like, ah, how you receive it, so we don't have a choice. Give us, we are your receivers. We will receive it. We don't have a choice. <laughs> okay, Zilisca, we have like four questions from um, your audience, and then we. Come, you, you, you see, you see, Subasta. She knows how to. She knows how to, to carry out an interview. I'm even the learner here. Look at Subasta. She said. Can we have yeah, people bring us questions? <laughs> See the way Mary, ah, Mary, you are too much, though, honestly. You are too much. The way you are really, you know, making this interview even more lively. <laughs> Fonjula says, Hello, big sis. Um, hello, big sis, Mary. Love you. All right, you guys, you guys bring questions. Mary, Mary says that I, I don't know. I get one problem. The name is John. I'll say John. Mary, I'm saying Mary. Oh, Nabilesh, 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 Nabilesh. Just more, say Mary. Say Mary. Mary. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They're teaching me everything today. I had to conduct interview. Young people, bring questions. <laughs> okay, how do you manage being an artist and a mom? That's one question from the comment section, which is a very good one. Okay. Really, seriously, it is super challenging. Joy is always in my butt. <laughs> I'm about to join this live video everywhere and um i have i have i have um this feeling i get each time i have to leave the house to go either to the studio or to go somewhere and i have to stay the night um oh, you have the night in the studio child and going <laughs> it's, it's always it's mm -hmm. yeah it's it's really bad um but you know, they say God will give you basket where you know he carry up. So any size where you give you one way you feel manager, one way you feel controller. So so far so good. I thank God for the grace. She's an amazing child. She's super smart. I think she has everything that she needs. Right, right. 
so so there are times that you have to work overnight and spend spend the night in the studio yeah yeah you sleep no like uh, all through the night from morning to uh, like all till morning or maybe 11 or 8 till morning like you don't you don't close your eyes like that um I mean, that's to be a musician. I was thinking I'll become a musician one day. You'll try. You can, uh, I, think I you'll... like to sleep, oh, Mary. I like to sleep. <laughs> mm. You're a capable woman. You can do anything you set out to do. <laughs> I'll try. Okay, so there's a question here. Mm. Mm. Okay, somebody says, let her be your inspiration. I think they're talking about joy, but give her more love and attention. My two cents. Thank you so much. That actually makes sense yeah mama read important <laughs> questions i know what you people are dri driving at um which cameroonian artist would you like to collaborate with i would like to collaborate with mr leo salatiel daphne okay uh, ewube. Mr. Leo, salatiel daphne ewube renyo renyo um um, Mike Monster. In no. fact, if I'm giving the opportunity to to just <laughs> to jump on the track with every um, Stanley Aino, oh God, yes. If I'm giving that opportunity, I would I would just want to sing with every local. Go see. That name is you know, local each of or local. In my own different ways. So yeah, definitely. If I'm giving the opportunity to eat. To, to do it if they allow me to and of course not forgetting my father my papa my papa the most anointed bless me a condo yes <laughs> ah papa bless me oh Shesa. ah i see comment section that they were dragging me there don't be annoyed to i just say the things that i have to say anything that is in my mind that's how i say it so you people should not be <laughs> offended so you people should leave me alone okay i said i want to become an artist mary can you imagine somebody no mary Somebody said, we wish voice D. I'm sitting in my voice and he talks and obviously sing with her. What's what I mean? Hey. Hello. Okay. Um, somebody said, Uncle Leona, first name. Una life story for the blog. Yes, he's the, he's the first name because he's, he's actually the first. He's a lion. He's a king. He's a very I, talented man. I mean, yes. said, he's the lion. He's the king. He's the very yes. talented. Ha. Huh. Like, oh, not come for me, oh. Let me look for another question. I'm not, I've not seen an artist who is that smart, who is that creative, and yet humble. So yeah, definitely, he's he's going to come first. Right. Yeah. Okay. One um one more question, and then we can move on, so that we can okay. move on to the questions that we have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Somebody. Okay, this this question. Okay, somebody say king as in because you said Mr. Leo, he's the lion, he's the king. So somebody says king as mm -hmm. in king of his arts. King, king of his of arts. arts. Let me answer it for you people again. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Somebody says, what's your <laughs> what's your voice training routine? Because your voice is so amazing. Oh my god, I'm having trouble reading this because I don't have my glasses on. My voice training. I'm a very, um, when it comes to voice routines, I'm very lazy. Like, if you follow me, you just go inside your world. I do. <laughs> I'm very lazy. I'm very, very lazy in that aspect. I just, the thing is just there because before before getting into music professionally, I've stayed like for almost eight years without singing. Yeah, I'm, I mean. Uh, my, 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 my comfort zone used to, used to be singing live. I love singing live. So you love <laughs> live music, like cabaret and stuff like that? Yeah, so um, I think around 2015 um, till 2017 were very dormant years for me when it came to music and singing. So I don't recall doing much um, voice training and stuff like that. But right now, I'm trying to learn how to be um, active in that domain because I kind of lost some abilities I got um, before. Okay. So right now, I go online and I take some, you know, few exercises that can help me, 
you know, add some more flair and, you know, run ups and value to my voice and emotion to my voice. And okay. So far. All right. Yeah. One important question. I, I, I just have to hold my phone because I don't want us to miss it. What do you think are the problems Cameroon music industry is facing and what is the way forward? I know you're new here, but you're already in there, so you should definitely have an idea. Well, I think it's the problem of me. Me. Every, everyone wants so to me, uh, as in me, me. Okay. Everyone wants to be the king. Everyone wants to be first. Everyone wants to be, you know, that bigger person. But so far, I think the 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 the, the moment we we realize that um, you know, um, I was gonna say something I forgot. I'm sorry. The moment we realize that the flag, our flag, goes up each time one of us wins, it's going to be a plus for us. Exactly. I mean, look at the video and um, whiskey, for example. They fight. They hate. But the moment the video is releasing an album or whiskey is releasing an album, the they just to share whiskey is best to share. So right. the moment and uh, you will not see Davido go to another country and maybe downgrade another Nigerian artist or um, you know paint his country or their entertainment and their art black. So I just think unity and oneness and believing that together we are stronger is going to help us a whole lot. And of course, work. Let's put in a whole lot of work. Instead of always having something to say, let's work. Um, that, was, that was extremely uh, um, intelligent because I, I mean, I would not have thought that that would be um, how to go about it. Mary, there's so much love for you in the comments section. Somebody says, Asaba featuring Mr. Leo will be lit. Of course, it's going to be lit. Everybody, of course, it's going to be lit. Okay, Mary. Yeah, Mary. Hi. Yeah. Village life will kill me. I say, Mary, Mary, Mary. Mary. <laughs> They're going to gross me in the comment section if I don't ask this question. What's your relationship like with Mr. Leo? Mr. Leo is the father of my child. Any reconciliation? So much oh. the title of your song be reconciliation. So any reconciliation between the I both of you? Leo, as you could find, as co-parents, we are doing amazingly wonderful as co-parents. The father of my get that? Job. Did you people get that? Me and Mr. Leo are doing fine as co-parents. We are doing an amazing job co-parenting. Somebody says, oh, for Jensen says, chat, Mary, you answer questions like beauty queen, very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, Mary, let's move on. We're going to come back to the comments section. We still have more questions that we organize for the show. So um, we're going to, oh, somebody says, congrats on your reconciliation. She didn't say they are back together. <laughs> She didn't say they are back together. She just said they are good as co-parents. Somebody said, yeah, mama. Darlene says, yeah, mama, no, the disgrace will you. The way you the pronounce that, Mary. I beg you, sorry, me, oh. I know go school fine. It's Mary. Mary. So let's move. Uh, is there any, any live event that shaped your choice to become a music artist? This little woman sitting right here. Hey, Joy, baby. <laughs> when she, she there, she listening. Is she watching you? No, please don't come. No, I'm not. Why did I even call her name? Oh, <laughs> as we mentioned, in name one show up. Joy. <laughs> oh, she's angry. She wants to come to the live. She's angry. Yeah, Joy. Joy. Um, Joy is every reason why everyone, every mother would want to pursue their dream. Because I don't want to be. Vita, mother, son, please take us to the room. Okay? Now, I want to leave joy. May feel free. <laughs> when I want to leave joy. Mama is going to take a Let's take her to um, Kaifu Market. Yeah, so um, joy is every reason why I, I wanted to pursue my dream. I mean, 
I don't want to be a bitter mother someday. And my daughter asks me why, and I'm like, I was supposed to be an artist. I was supposed to have been singing. I mean, your daughter, my daughter automatically looks at me as a role model. Okay. I was having a moment with her like a month ago, and she looked at me so deep into my eyes, and she said, Mommy, I want to be like you. I don't know wherever that came from. Yes, she's that smart. So, I mean, it was she she was just every reason why I was supposed to do this because I would want her no matter what she chooses to do to to pursue that dream to be just what she wants to be. Definitely um, yes. <laughs> No, don't zip up or tell us. <laughs> okay. Um I mean, it's just amazing how kids, I'm just going to cue behind what you said about your daughter um, looks at you as your role model. I think every child looks up to their parents as, as their role model. That's why it's always advisable that um, parents should do what they want their children to, to follow. Because if you start drinking from a bottle with your mouth without using a cup and stuff like that, your kids pick that up. So I think Joy is seeing something really amazing in you and she loves you so much so that she just wants to be like you. Somebody um, asked a question in the comment section. Um, how old is Joy? Joy is three years and six months. So Joy is three years and six months for those of you who have been asking. So she should be a smart, super smart baby girl. Yeah. You know, for her to be able to really see certain things, looking at her mommy right in the eyes and saying, oh, mommy, I really want to be like you. That means you're really doing a, an amazing job and you don't have to change from that. If you have to change, you have to be better. You have to be better than that. Okay, so moving on. Is there any, uh, okay, no, I already asked that question. Is there anything you particularly regret about your life so far? Uh, I, I don't think so. Mary is so beautiful. Do you guys see that? You're so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Mary is so beautiful. I'm just sitting here looking at him like, okay, <laughs> man, not talk to him in my mind, no, but you're so beautiful. Thank you, Denise. I I don't think so. If I would want to be great about stuff, I would have a lot, lots and lots of things to look back and say, why didn't I do this this way? Why didn't I do this this, this way? Why didn't I take this decision at this point? Why, why, why? There will be so many, my life will be so full of questions. So, and I ask everybody to be in this state of mind. Like you shouldn't regret every any decision that you made from in the course of your life. I think everything that happened was destined to happen and that, and whatever happened shaped you into the person that you are now. So I wouldn't say I am the great. I don't know. Mary, there's something about you. I don't know if you guys have seen. She has so much grace. I don't know if you guys have seen. I mean, I'm not trying to exaggerate. You you know how to carry yourself, even the way you answer questions, your your mouth movement, your body language is just amazing. You're actually really born for this. Superstar status, I swear. You're really born for this. I, because mm -hmm. see me now, I cannot, I cannot compose myself. I cannot be in one place. I'm shaking. I'm all over the place. But see the way you, yeah, you carry on. <laughs> see that one. I mean, I mean, scatter, scatter, Mrs. Scatter, scatter. But see the way you carry yourself so gracefully. There's so much, you know. So, oh my goodness, royalty. Let me put it that way. Royalty. That's what I. Oh. Say. oh my god. <laughs> Higher heights, Mary. That's what somebody's saying in the comment section. Thank um, you. Okay, so um, she said something that I think makes so much sense. And I want you to, I mean, reiterate that point about talking about regrets, state of mind. I want you to redo that because I want to pick something from it because it actually makes so much sense. So I was I was saying that if, if I told you have to regret a lot of things or some things in your life, your life would be just so much full of questions. Right. Like you want to go back at each point in your life and ask yourself, why you didn't take this decision? Why you didn't go this, go left instead of right? Why you didn't um, do this instead of doing that? Why you didn't, you know, you will be asking so many questions. And at the end of the day, I don't think you're going to reach that point of satisfaction. You know, you, I, I think most at times you will even suffer inferiority complex because then you'll be doing a lot of comparison. You know, this person these days, I was supposed to be doing this. Why am I not doing this? Why am I not here instead of there? So 
I don't I don't want to have that mindset. I don't want to think that I, I, I would have been somewhere instead of where I am. I think where I am is enough for me and it's it's just gracious. Having that kind of mindset is going to push you to, to go um in front and not backwards. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much, Mary. Somebody says um uh, fan love from Korea, Mary. So you have somebody from Korea that is sending oh, you love. Um, um, I better not make that girl start shame me to me. No, I'm just appreciating the way she carries herself. I, I, I mean, it, it's not every day that you see somebody that knows how to, you know, carry herself so gracefully. Uh, so somebody says she's indeed a superstar and so talented. Vicky says, um, "Chat, Mary gets sense." Um, Okay, so this is just, there's just some comments in comment section that I'm not going to pay attention to. We'll definitely come back to that. Um, I think we have uh, two more questions before we come to the end, and then we're going to go back to the people in the comment section. Um, are there some music figures you look up to who might have influenced your career? I'm going to say first, Charlotte Dipanda. Charlotte Dipanda. That's, that's one very great woman. And yeah, just in my song, I want to be as great as her, and maybe even more if God permits. She's one um, person from Cameroon that I admire so much. Um, from the male side, yeah, it's, it, it will sound funny that a male inspires me, but come on, if anybody can inspire anybody, exactly. my name is God um, bless his soul. So that's why we have both um, of them in your uh, big dream song? Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I also have Simi from Nigeria that is one strong woman, so she's a beautiful songwriter. I mean, I love her for, you know, just the way she brings in words and how she plays with her music and just gives us sweet melodies. Yeah, and of course, Rihanna, by the way, I used to be so obsessed with her. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So from, I mean, from this, and this is going to be a follow-up question, from your answers or your answer to this last question, right? Um, it gives me the impression that most of your songs actually carry what is in your heart. You don't just write them for writing's sake because you've mentioned Simi, that is in Big Dreams. You've mentioned Manu Dibango, Shalo Dipanda, um, Rihanna, all of them are in Big Dreams. Tell us about Yele. Uh I think Yele, Yele came up, uh, I think that was in 2018. I wrote Yele in 2018. And, um, oh, wow. Yeah, in 2018. I, what was I doing? I was working by then, I was working in Limpe. And um, I, I had this um, man, Mr. Wallan, who is also a writer, um, who was reading me stories. Because he usually, he always read me stories. He's a story writer. A kid story writer, he's just so good. And in one of his um, small um, books, there was this name, Yele. Now, I tried to do a little bit of research about Yele, and um, I discovered that Yele is just um, the name that is given to mostly girl children. Um, in It's mostly from the Northwest region. And this is from a girl child that's, that just wants, you know, this, um, she wants to be free. She wants to be free to do whatever she wants to do. She wants to break that cage of inferiority. And, you know, she wants the world to accept her just the way she wants to be. And, you know, that kind of claimed so much to me. It was something I really wanted to write on. I got like it. Yes. And I remember composing a chorus that same day. And I sang it to Mr. Wallang and he told me, Mary, this song is going to be your song. It's going to be a song. It's going to be big. I believe so much in those words. So I, one of those days when I was coming to do my backups at Aquando Studios, I just told Aquando. By then, I already had a beat for the song. And no, the day I came up with the chorus, I called, um, because I have a lot of people I work with. There is Looney Tunes. I called Looney Tunes and I was like, Looney, please. This is the chorus of the song I want to do, and please, I have just the chorus for now. Just do something and bring me a melody, and then I'll finish it from here, because I had too much to do at, at the time. He brought up something, so it was, it was unique, it was amazing. 
And the moment he sent it to me, I was I, I just loved it. So I brought it to Douala and yes, I met Aquando and he loved it. From the moment he listened to it, he loved it and said, just get get to the studio and record. I got into the book to record. I did not have verses. I didn't have any verse. I just had the chorus in my mind. So I did the chorus and I kept and I had to do the chorus. And trust me, what you guys heard from beginning to end when it came to the verses is all freestyle. I didn't write. Yeah, mostly I don't write songs. <laughs> ah, superstar. Wow. If you would um, get to talk with any producer I've worked with, will tell you I, I will never come to the studio with you. <laughs> I think somebody has mentioned that. Somebody somebody, somebody told me that, oh, um, usually artists, some artists take so long in the booth, but yeah. Maria Saba just gets in and she's out in a bit. Yeah. Wow. You guys, did you guys hear that? Um, she she did not write the verse of Yele. She actually freestyled that song. The only thing she had written was the chorus. Somebody is sending you so much love here. They want to send you money. Okay, Miss Miss Guess. I don't know that's if that's the spelling. We're gonna talk about that. Okay. Ah, Vicky said I told you. <laughs> so when 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 I when I was done with recording the song, guess the first person I sent it to to listen to me and tell me what they think. Mr. Leo? Yes. <laughs> I sent it to Leo and um, he told me, Mary, I think you're ready. I think you are different. I think you are you're going to be big. I think I think the world is ready to hear you now. So just do more. Yeah. And uh, in the beginning he had these little corrections he wanted me to add up to it, but at the end of the day, it was it was it was it was um, a song that I wanted to do. So uh, he, I mean, he's always a great writer, but I I let the song be just the way it was. Wow, wow, yeah. you guys, wow! Somebody said, if you're big, you're big. If you're big, you're really big. I mean, oh wow! It's, there's just so much love for you in the comment section, by the way. She's the bomb, straight up, Auntie Mary. Um, Mary, I just, I just love. I think the person wanted to say, I just love your ways. Uh, somebody said, make you, me, you and Mister Leo just reconcile. It's gonna be good. Okay, that's by the way. That's gonna be left for um, Mary to decide. I was gonna say something. Okay, we need a freestyle. Ooh, freestyle. <laughs> Everybody in the comment section is asking. They've been asking. I've just been ignoring because I wanted you to finish talking, you know, put all of your thoughts out there. And then before you go to that, I just want to give a quick shout out to Aquando is Bless B, right? Yes. Super producer. Super, super producer. I know other songs that he has produced. I yes. definitely <laughs> love the song. I actually love Bless B as a producer than a musician. I'm sorry to say, but that's how I feel. He's, he's an amazing, amazing, amazing producer. So, Krista, over to you. Mm. From the bottom of my heart, I see the stars. In the middle of my eyes, I see the light. Even when the rain is falling, I see the stars. At the end of the tunnel, I see the light. <laughs> Have you ever been down before? Saying better days will never come. Battling with pain that's... <laughs> oh See my you God. up again, stronger, better than a fighter, better than a loser. And you are bigger, stronger, better than a fighter. This one is for you. By the flower, fly away. Spread your wings and fly away. Butterfly, fly away. This one is for you. Remember that you're always bigger. You're, you're always, always bigger. Mary, I'm guessing that's a freestyle. <laughs> Powerful <laughs> words out there. Remember, you're always bigger, you're always stronger. And then somebody says, I love the way she sings, stops, smiles, and then continues. I mean, it's just it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Um, this girl has a lot of talent, sending you love from Denmark. Oh my goodness, the comment section wow. is open. 
way. And I, I never seen something like this. And this is from Tamil Lydia. I'm sending you love from Dema. Mary, your song are on repeat on my week weekend list. Um, that her voice, now that voice that to oh, my voice note be one hour long. I actually needed this song right now. So much love. <laughs> So much love for you in the comment section. Um, I love that song, Bigger Than Beyonce. Uh, her voice doesn't need an amplifier. Love from Gloria. So it's just people sending you love. Everybody says it's so natural. There's something about your voice. I don't know if you guys in the comment section heard. There's a tone at the end of her voice. It's, I don't know how to explain it, but it makes it sound different. Somebody says, we want to hear Lily. Yes. <laughs> oh my god mary <laughs> i know Somebody say yes, we heard the tone. Okay, there's a question in the comment section. Uh, we hope your music is on iTunes. Do you have your music on iTunes? Um, not for now. You can stream it on Boomplay, but um, definitely we are going to get it on iTunes. Yes, we so want to buy it. Get that money. Get the bag. Girl, yes. you need to get the bag. Um, her voice is on fire. Okay, guys, comment section people. We're going to take more comments from you. And then somebody says, would you show us baby joy before we go? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you baby joy, I promise. Okay. Somebody said Not delay for me all the way. <laughs> wow, you're 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 shining today, I swear. Like the, this comment section, there's so much love for you in the comment section. Our wife, so this is from Marilyn Kijika. Our life, our wife Asaba sending you love from Canada. Yele is the bomb. Um yeah. somebody says, um Angeli, Angela Okori, come and take this girl. I don't know what that means. Someone says, yes, kill us, um, your voice, um, my heart, Yele, Mary, you know, just people sending you so much love. Oh. So comment section, people, more questions for Mary um, before she shows us Baby Joy. Maybe Baby Joy has something. Ah. No, I'm not going to show you Baby Joy today. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is saying, yeah, mama, put Yele, make it sick. He's not going to come here and steal my shine, Joyce, like that. No, uh, let her see your shine, no. Please, let her steal it. Joy. So comment section, give us more questions, and then um, we're going to go to Baby Joy. Somebody says, so beautiful, so eloquent. So, so eloquent, I swear. Very all the way from Yolanda. Fonson says, so beautiful and so eloquent. Big Dreams is my best from Istanbul, so love for you from Istanbul. Uh, that's um, Lydia Labelle. I got two urgent K two. Uh, I get I got urgent two K for her. Okay, yes. Thank you so much. I'm definitely going to link you up. So, how do you start? How do you stay motivated, especially after releasing two hit songs? Very important question. The love that I receive from you guys, that's it's amazing. Anyone, anyone would want to stay focused. We want to do more. So your love only, just your love, the love you show me is just enough motivation for me to do more and do it. Somebody says, if Mr. Leo proposes, is it going to be a yes? You guys, they're not dating. <sighs> Uh, Margaret says, um, Yele all the way from Dubai. I love her style. That's from Yvette. Um, Gloria says, I need Joy slow mo, please. <laughs> Just do a slow mo challenge. You guys, I'm really missing so much on social media. Um, did you know what Joy slow mo? Uh -uh, oh. oh, I don't know what time she, she did. She did a slow mo. Wait, now. Go oh. to my Instagram. <laughs> I have to really go and check on it. Mm. Okay, so before we move forward, please, I just want to ask all of you to please, please, please follow me on all my social media um, handles on Facebook as Atabo Official, Instagram as Atabo Official, um, TikTok as Atabo Official. I mean, everywhere, everywhere. Okay, let me just see if I can pin that real quick. So follow her on all social media platforms as Saba Official. 
Um, just give me one quick second. Let me pin this. So it's just, wait, just Asaba official, not Asaba Mary? No, 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 Asaba official. Okay, I'm gonna pin that real quick. You guys go follow Mary on all her social media platforms as Asaba official. So, so she's on Instagram, she's on Facebook, um, Twitter. Twitter, everywhere. Uh, okay, somebody somebody says, are you in a relationship now? No, I am very single for now. Mary is very single. Eligible people in the comment section, come and show your show. Okay, what's your biggest fear as an artist? <laughs> That's a quick question for you. My biggest fear as an artist, well, going and getting there and coming like this. Wait, I miss... But like going and climbing and reaching the top mm -hmm. and not either staying there and, and you know dropping. but just dropping back drastically that's the biggest fear any artist I feel in you. I feel you. that should be something that everybody should be scared of yeah. uh, her youtube is starfish and empire starfish entertainment starfish entertainment sorry um um Tia cool hi her youtube is starfish entertainment okay there's another question here somebody said mm -hmm. um esther francois what's your question again i missed it um what's your relationship with miss Leo? oh she already says that um she and mr leo have a very cordial relationship as co-parents they are co-parents and they're taking care of they are raising their daughter so they have a very um cordial relationship somebody says okay dandy no daddy Mbani says i've never heard her music but i'm definitely gonna start today much love from america oh you have to check maria saba out my goodness you have to check her out uh okay somebody says fear is a mistake sweetheart you are above fear um all right you guys more questions okay maria saba what advice do you have for cameroonian youth for the cameroonian youth um Believe in yourself. I know you would hear this every day, but I tell you this from my heart. I tell you this because I, if you would say there is one person who at one point had this doubt in self, it's me. So I want to tell you, whoever is watching this video, like, that you should believe in yourself and um, you should love yourself more than anybody in this world. Because where every other love will fail, self-love will keep right. you and, will, and it will build you. So believe in yourself and love yourself and the rest will follow. Right. So you guys, believe in yourself. That's all you need. Um, where do you see yourself in five years from now? Hmm. I'm going to be bigger <laughs> than what I am now. I'm going to be greater. <laughs> Okay, so there's a strange question in the comment section. It says, what happened to your relationship with Daphne? With Daphne? Yeah. The, uh, nothing happened to my relationship. Uh, yeah, I know there has been this trendy picture of me and Daphne and people would have it in their hearts to ask or blah, blah, blah. They would want to think that we have a problem. That's why they are not seeing more pictures of she and I. I mean, people are always wanting to put words and fire when there is no fire. But trust me, nothing happened with I and Daphne. Daphne became Daphne and I became Mary. And we, we still communicate on a very, you know, how would I even say? Yeah, so nothing happened. Nothing happened at all. Okay, so you guys, I mean, I mean, I'm just getting this. Nothing actually happened. So their relationship is still the same. Somebody says in 
what has okay what has been your biggest challenge so far as an artist um i think um well i have i've been i've been off the camera for so long and each time we have to shoot a video i'm super anxious <laughs> i know i'm always super anxious i did not know what to do i didn't know how to how to carry myself i mean, i am always super anxious i mean Truly would marry me. Okay, now you have to be like this. Just do this. Don't, don't, don't stare. Just, and then I have this thing when I smile, all oh, my eyes just close up. So, <laughs> which I think is a good thing. <laughs> the director of Mary, please don't smile. Just see. Don't smile. I can't see your eyes. You need to communicate. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can imagine that. Okay. So there's a question from Paul J. Jensen. She says, as artists, we shape the world through our music, movies, or fashion. Given that the entertainment industry is the core of shaping society, how do you think you can contribute in shaping this world, especially through your music? Well, I want to, I want to bring in um, every single domain in my music. Like, for example, um, Yele, um, Yele was directed by Adrenaline. The costumes I got were from whiskey fashion. That was already bringing in fashion. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, another domain into my music. I got um, an actor. I got actors and actresses. One of the main characters was um, um, Goddess. Goddess. Yes, Pangua. That was that's me bringing in you know my um, um, another sector of the uh, yeah, of the instrument industry. Big dreams. Um, I was dressed by Tonda Switch. The CEO of, of Tonda Magazine. Okay. Yeah, she also has a clothing line she's working on. I was also dressed by Mago Smolt. Okay. Yeah, so that's me bringing another sector, you know. I mean, I get my hair done from Bella by Bella as um, Stephanie. <gasps> um, what's her name? She is the one time in Southwest region. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I get my hair done. All the time. In fact, Rani Bell did this. That's from Stephanie's um, salon. I just, I just want to help every sector as much as I can. And definitely, if you listen to my music and my lyric, you would discover that I am not just doing this thing because I'm excited or because I thought I was frustrated and I wanted to do music. I want to inspire someone, and that's me already shaping the world. You know, so. Yeah, so far, so good. All right, so you guys got it. And I think that it's an amazing thing that you're doing, bringing other segments under the entertainment industry into your project. I mean, imagine you're doing a music video and then you have to take entertainment, you have to bring, because you would have decided to just go with anybody or you would have decided to just do any kind of video especially with Yele because Yele we could see the background there was some display you know a whole story being explained in the background and it's just amazing that you decided to bring people from other segments because somebody I love Godzis very much and maybe because I know that Godzis is in the music in the music video I want to watch it because I want to see what he's doing in the, in the video maybe the other actress that I, I don't know her but I, I'm so grateful that you decided to, you know, bring her into that. So I think it's just an amazing way you're involving everybody in the entertainment industry. And I think that answers um, 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 for J. Jensen's question very well. So there's another question. Do you wish to mingle nursing and music or would you just abandon one of them for the other? I know I'm not abandoning any. I believe that, uh, you know, me finishing my nursing program <laughs> was, it was it was just by the grace of God. God wanted me to complete that. In um, in the nearest future, I would want to go back to school, do um, a two year course in pharmacy, and own a pharmacy, a very big pharmacy. And you know, maybe I could expand that to a hospital. Or but I, I'm never going to leave nursing because when music wasn't there, it kept me. Right. It, it entertains me because I love taking care of people. I, I really do love taking care of people. I love to sympathize. I love to empathize. So I'm not abandoning any. All right, great. So somebody in the comment section says, thank you for involving others in your concept. Together we move. 
Mowo Chamakon says, this is my first, this is my first to have heard of her excellent music. Thank you so much for joining the live and I'm so grateful that you're here today. So definitely you, you, you now know one good um, Cameroonian artist. Um, do you wish to, okay, no, we already answered that question. So Florence says, watching from Maryland, smart girl. Okay, um, Abum Sharon says, sense. So definitely to your questions uh, for the Gen Z. Yeah. So, you know, she said it's very smart and all of that. So Mary, whilst we're about to round up, I'd like you to um, take um, two more questions and then what should we, ex uh, what should the world be expecting of you? More music. <laughs> A lot of music. More music. <laughs> More music. <laughs> oh, so so we, we should expect a whole lot, like a yeah. whole um, um, story of music. Singles, I mean, more music, just more music. Somebody in the comment section, where are you based? I'm based in Douala. So you guys get it. So she's in Douala. OK, um, Mary, any word of advice to your fans? Now, to your fans. I know we already talk about the youth, now to your fans. To my fans, yeah. Most of the times, people are going to have opinions about me. <laughs> and um, you guys may want to really ask questions. But I want to tell my fans, my real fans, my true fans, to stay with me. Please, don't let me go at any point in time. Whatever you will hear, it's just going to be a story. And of course, I'm going to be human. And I don't want you guys to let me go. Just keep holding me, holding my hands and leading me on. I cannot do this without you guys. I can only be here because you are there. So don't let me go at any point. Please stay with me until the end. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Dian, as we come to the end of this live show, this is a take home message. Um, you, the fans of Maria Saba, don't let her go. Don't let her go. Just keep holding her hand. And she's definitely a human being. She's definitely going to make mistakes, but please keep holding her. I'm definitely one of the people that's going to keep holding you. So I'm never going to let you drop or fall. I'm your biggest fan. And I'm always here. My inbox is definitely open. Promotions, whatever it is that you want from the yard. You just know that I'm a text message or phone call away. Just let us know, pass through your PR, just do the needful and then we'll take it off from there. And I'm definitely sure that the audience, I mean, the kind of love that they've shown you today, <laughs> these people, they don't used to show love like this. There are people of war, but they're showing so much love. You know, I'm so, so excited. This is one of my best shows and the people in the comment section are saying the same thing. I love the show. So definitely, um, we love you and we'd love to see more of Maria Saba. Love all of you, Yadian. All of you. Thank you so much, Yamama, for having me here. Thank you when so much. When I was that was actually my heart was beating. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, we are we are people of war and of love at the same time. Look at the kind of love they show you. Nobody from Yan Mama should definitely start tripping. Don't tell me that thing. There's nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, I, I'm so I'm so happy that we had them too. And stay put like that. No, I was like, okay, but I have to comfort myself and respond. And I am happy that I did, and I'm happy I am here. Um, I look forward to be here again. It's a it's a very beautiful place to be. In. Thank you. I wish you could see all these comments. Next time, I definitely no, do it in a way that you. Can. No, sometimes you 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 this woman. <laughs> Sorry, sorry me, oh, my head used to scatter, scatter like that. Sorry me, sorry me, mama. When you see me, when you see those, my things just... Uh, um, I mean... <laughs> Thank you so Thank you. much. Yeah. Thank you so okay. much, Mary. All right, you guys, Um, somebody wanted to send Mary something, kindly just contact me so that I can channel that to her. Thank you guys so much for the love. Thank you for everything. I keep looking away because my comments are on the other side and then my computer is on this side. Thank you so much, Mary. Um, big shout out to your PR team. Big shout out to everybody that is working with you. Makeup, you. hair, wardrobe, your producers, everybody in the studio, you guys are doing an amazing job. And we really, really love what you guys are doing from the bottom of our hearts. From the yard to you guys, we say thank you so much. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye, Mary. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> well, Joy's there for background. Say wow. Thank you guys so much. It's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful show. The way we wanna show Mary love, I'm super, super happy. Thank you so much for all of that. Thank you guys so much. Um, comment section be the pop. You guys kept on firing me with questions. Comment section be the actually pop. So, um, um, well, Joy could not come online today. She said she would like to, to show Joy another time. And of course, um, we have to respect her decision. That's her child. And like I already told you people, I'm not very much into putting kids on, on social media until the person is comfortable uh, uh, with that. Thank you guys so much. Um, moving on, let's grind. Let's grind. So you guys, there's somebody in, the, in, my, in my DM. Let me see if I can get back to that message. So apparently, I, because yesterday I said that um, I'm not very much into, oh, not I'm not very much, I'm not into giveaways because, um, thank you so much, Katie Breeze. I'm not into giveaways because there's something that I noticed, first of all, the real people that need it are not online. And you have a lot of, of course, of course, I'm coming to, I'm coming to that. Um, Melga being to that's what I'm, I'm just about to talk about. Um, so I tell when I say, I talked yesterday, say I don't like uh, the whole giveaway thing, I'm not going to do it because most times people in the come for comment section, they lie, say they, they need help with and stuff like that, where they really don't need the help. And secondly, I think it's promoting laziness, and thirdly, the people that really need all this help, they know even they're on social media, and sometimes I don't even think say. Uh, or la end of the year, because usually we do an end of year giveaway. We not do one because say uh, everybody had a had a, a difficult year. Phase um, twenty twenty was extremely difficult for everybody. So apparently, it's trending on social media. You know, and, and some people that don't come from my inbox, they try to me. Some person saying, "Abo don't go key you." So this is I don't know if you guys can see it. This is a message from the person. It says Sammy Lee. That's the account. So the person say, "Na bosom go kill you if you no go colo mental for that America. You the jealousy people with them. They make give away because you no know, get means for do am. Uh, you the attack people with them. Don't bond with them. Get the, the fruit of the womb. I think that's what the person is trying to say. Useless girl. Fine Bambi for work for America. Make I to my you give you belle. So. That's what we are having. That's what we are having. Hey. The woman say you taught her a witch. Taught who a witch? Hey, wait. That's on Newsday. No, no, no. Who the, who the answer goes? I tell the person, say, if you get her, may bring a real uh, account. Somebody says the woman said you tapped her a witch. Who said that? Hi, Mineta. Say I tapped some person witch. You guys, you guys are really trying to say something in the comment section. So that's the start, I thought it'd be which. For our live show yesterday, we, we mentioned any person say it'd be which. Well, bottom line is, I've said it and I will talk over and over. All right, let me look at this camera. I don't do social media fights. I don't bring myself that low to social media fights. When I say something, I talk on my full chest. I need to fear for talk to our one talker. All right. That's my opinion. You can have yours. And you can do what you want to do with it. I said I do not do Facebook giveaways. I said I didn't, I do not do it. I know talk to many people then stop for doing. 
I know so many people didn't stop for doing I just say, me, I no go do one. I started it. Sell your market, I started it. Give away, I, I, I mean, I, I started I start to give away. All right, I started and I stopped it because I, I noticed that we were, we were breeding lazy people. We'll be the groomed liars and the real people that need it are not on social media. I don't do giveaway. That's what I said. And I did talk on my full chest. All right. And we don't call no more. I just said to comment, she said them calling her. I don't even know who, who now who, who said that? Who said we'll call you, say we say don't enter Nyongo? Who said that? Did we say anything? Did we call anybody? Excuse me, which or Nyongo or what that's a person? Well, that's that. We don't do Facebook fights. We are the Yardians of the Yard. Bigger, mightier, everything. All right? You guys don't fight. Anyway, in any comment section, you guys don't fight anybody. We don't fight no man. Let them say what they want to say. They want to say. May any man want to talk anything here? May talk. Please, you guys don't go fighting anybody. We're not going to drag ourselves into social media or Facebook war. We are not. It's not of our nature. I beg Huna for Papa God in name. May no man no answer no man. Don't start any fighting under any comment section. Don't fight anybody. They're talking to me. Shots are being fired at me. I get the thicker skin. I'll take it. Don't fight nobody. We'll beat past that thing. We we'll don't fight no man. I don't know who is saying what, and I don't know. I just received now this message. Then there's another message that I think the person sent it and then deleted it on Instagram, but I read it before the person was able to delete it. Don't fight nobody. And I don't even know where to go on, but don't fight nobody. Please. All right, we had an amazing show, so. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to my classmate. He just joined this live, Basa DiCaprio. Shout out to my classmate, Agbo Claude. Um, shout out to Emily Brown. Shout out to Abum Shara, my baby girl. Shout out to Dan Mineta, my baby girl. My, those are my baby sisters, those two girls, Abum Shara and Mineta. Um, you guys are just so amazing. I don't want us to drag this show. We're not going to do, yesterday we had an amazing show. Today we had a wonderful, wonderful show with Maria Saba. She graced this um, show, it was a great time and we are not going to spoil that with anything. All right. All right, so you guys forget about giveaways. If you, you are somebody that likes giveaways when they are doing giveaways, wherever there are lots of platforms that do giveaways. If they're doing giveaways, then go ahead and collect your giveaways. But for the yard, we're not gonna do that. If we see things that we think that we want to help, we're going to help. The ones that we don't want to help, we move on. But we're not doing giveaways, all right? That's where we are. And please, no fighting, all right? Don't go insulting anybody. Don't go um, um, uh, insulting people in, on the comments or uh, in the comment section or stuff like that. Just let everybody be. Let them have their peace of mind. You know, sometimes it be way, it if I may you ask on two way, it for your chest. All right, Lizzie Tambe, shout out to you. If I may ask you for your chest, so when people are airing their stuff, just let them be. 
we are not fighters. We are not people of love, you know, we are the people of war, but we know where we look for war. We don't want to look for necessary war, right? So you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, uh, this show has been on. Oh, Capri, shout out to you, mama. Shout out to you, Le uh, Lindsay, Elena. Hi, shout out to you. Please guys, no fighting. I no say some unnecessary heat be about to start when I know me. We shut it down, big time. We shut it down like never before. So just, just forget about social media people. Let them drag, they're dragging me. We'll never grant them audience. Whoa, Vicky, shout out to Vicky. Shout out to Vicky. A thanks Zipora. Some people actually benefit from it. Stop causing bloggers to fight. I don't know what you're saying. I just said, I don't do giveaways. So I don't know what you're talking about. There are lots of blogs that do giveaways. A, lot, a whole lot of them. Blogs and for the Cameroon fair plenty. I didn't, I didn't get to know new blogs them every day because when I follow the blog, I see pages the way they follow them. I see, I see new blogs. So I get to see blogs every day. They are giving airtime. They are giving money. They are giving you know, clothes and stuff. People and they do giveaways. They plenty. The plenty. All right. So I don't, I don't, I don't know why. If I talk to an enemy and then they do give away, it's an issue. Oh, okay, Zipporah. Oh, yeah, you, I get it. I get it. Okay, you guys. When I want more, go or more talk about something. Let me see in the comment section. Should we go? Oh, we start Education, right? Somebody says we continue. Um, Emily Brown says we continue. Um, um, so um, Kowan's show is coming up. Thank you, everybody. I did gather information on that particular picture. You guys know me. I need to come with um, fictitious stories. I did try to get my proof before um, I move on. Um, okay, so Kowan has a show that is coming up very soon. I'm definitely going to post it uh, on the blog today, and then we're going to give free tickets so you guys can go watch him, go support our baby. Um, Falon say, yeah, mama say, you did do Congo, so get followers. I die here. <laughs> With all of us, we're going to die here. Okay, so from every indication, my inbox is popping when it comes to... Carrie Bell, Cameroon now is not easy. We need giveaways. I like what people are doing. Did I stop you? I said, I don't do it. All right? I don't do it. And that's it. So there are lots of blogs that do giveaways. So you can actually go there and get your give and take your giveaways from there or win money. Yeah, mama, do a giveaway to young single mothers. No, girl, I'm not going to do it. All right? I'm not going to do that. You don't tell me how I'm going to function here. We're not going to do that. Okay? When we feel, feel moved, we do what we want to do. When we don't feel moved, we don't do it. Okay? Moving on. So let's talk about hookups. Um, from every indication, people that really be... People, thank you so much. Thank you, Florence. People didn't really be interested with the whole hookup thing. So um, I'm expecting you guys send me more um, hookup stories. And I beg, when person send a hookup story or you send a hookup request, 
I, I like if you be interested. If you be interested, quick, I mean, the earlier you send me a message so that if you hook you up with the person, the better. Because most times, I the I the loss. Most most times I the loss because I get a lot of messages. So the person will send a request in message, you go high, then I need to figure it out. So if we get um, well, if we get uh, um um hook up request and then you send your your interest faster, it will help me. Um, somebody says, when are you having the business Zoom meeting? Yes, I was going to come to that. Samba says, those insulting you can. So then I better start today for sell market for real though, I tell you. Okay, I was going to talk about the, the, the Zoom, the business class. We're going to have our business class um, on Wednesday because on on Friday I don't I don't I don't know what I want more get because I don't talk to um, the lady who is twenty three that I said I want to bring her on the show. I don't talk to ye. It's a few lady on the show on on Friday because on Friday she that's the day that she dresses professionally and she has time. To go around because I want us to take to give us a tour, you know, take 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 us around her office space, show us, you know, introduce us to everything. She says Monday to Thursday, uh, um, factory days. She's actually in the factory working, making the hair that she sells. So she definitely cannot do it because it's usually uh, it's usually busy days for them. So she's going to only be able to do the live on Friday. So on Friday we're going to have a live. So I want us to. I want us to do the. I want us to do the first segment of the the how to make uh, money online. I want us to do that on Wednesday. I'm going to teach you. We're going to do um, blogging, owning a website, and making money on Google AdSense. I want us to take it in segments so that we can learn step by step. If, excuse me, if we decide to do everything on the same day, we're going to be overwhelmed with the information that will not even grab things the way we need to grab them. So I'll share them in different segments. The first segment, we're going to talk about um, um, making money as a website owner. I'm going to put up the poster today, today night or tomorrow morning. I'll put the poster up, but it's supposed to be, it's definitely going to go late in, into the night for people in Cameroon, but it's going to stay on Facebook. So you guys can always come back and watch it. And then I'll put it on my YouTube channel too. So you can always go there and watch it. So we'll do how to make money um, owning a website. And then from there we'll do YouTube and then we'll do e-commerce last. E-commerce is overwhelming. It's really a broad topic. Uh, so we'll do that on another day. There's a video that I made about how to sell on Instagram and I think on Facebook. I'm going to post it so you guys can go watch it on my YouTube channel. It's going to give you ideas on what to do just so that when we have the show on, on Wednesday, you, you'd understand better. So yeah, we're going to have the show on Wednesday. So we're going to do um, making money as a, as a blogger. A blogger, not a Facebook and Instagram blogger, but a blogger with a website. How to chop Google money, how to chop Google AdSense money. So that's what we're going to do on the first day. It's something that you can do. You can have a website, you can get, you can have YouTube, a YouTube channel. So whichever one you want, you can have all of those at the same time. It's very easy to run. YouTube is quite easy, you know. So yeah, any other question? We'll have it on Wednesday. I'm definitely going to put the time and post it. Any other question, guys? Okay, I guess I guess that's it. Man, I'm tired. My eyes are hurting. This light is crazy. Okay. Any other questions so that we can move on? All right, I'm guessing that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining this live show. Um, thank you for sticking through right up to the end. And um, please, 
Um, no fighting on social media, please. No fighting, whether on Facebook or no fighting on Facebook or Instagrams or any or Instagram or anything. Just let everything be. We move, time and we move. All right, thank you guys so much. I'll see you all on Wednesday. I'm definitely going to post um, the flyer so we know exactly when the live show is going to be. Thank you guys so much. It's been an amazing Saturday morning for me and evening for you guys. Thank you.